this video, I'm gonna spell out exactly how to get sponsorship for your email newsletter. I know a lot of creators have this question about how they can monetize their email newsletters and sponsorship comes up again and again. So I'm gonna be sharing the difference between how sponsorship works versus using an ad network, where to find the highest paying sponsorships, as well as how to actually pitch to brands for sponsorship. And most importantly, how to actually price yourself so you can start making thousands with your newsletter. Hi, I'm Kate Emily and I'm a marketing consultant, content creator and online educator. And I have my own newsletter, The Content Society, which I'd love you to be a part of. It's all about how to make you into a better creative marketer. So you'll get a fortnightly drop of business and marketing related news, insights, tips, and the latest going on in the industry. If this sounds like something you need more of, then go and sign up below. I've been writing email newsletters for my own business and my clients for years. So when it comes to actually creating the content for a newsletter, I've got that down pat and I've shared my tips and strategies around newsletter content on my channel before. But now there's a growing interest in actually monetizing a newsletter. So actually being able to turn it into its own revenue stream, especially since brands are moving away from social media platforms where it's really tricky to get engagement and actually be able to nurture your audience in a meaningful way. So some brands are getting rid of social media completely or they're just moving some of their focus away from Instagram and Facebook and X and moving it into a newsletter. Okay, so let's get back to why you're really here. How do you monetize your newsletter with sponsorship? Firstly, I just wanna break down the difference between using an ad network versus sponsorship. So an ad network is where you can download some display ads from your favorite brands, and then you will either get paid a commission or some sort of ad revenue based on how many clicks that ad gets in your newsletter. You would have seen a lot of bloggers use display ads on their website. This is a really common way for them to monetize their blogs, particularly if they have a lot of views. So you need a lot of subscribers and a really high open rate for ad networks to work in your newsletters. Generally, advertisers pay per thousand clicks and most creators use some sort of ad network. So it might be Google AdSense or Mediavine and leveraging those platforms who have already built the relationships with brands to just take that little bit of code and that image from their website and start promoting that brand. Or you could join an email newsletter platform like Beehive, which has an ad network inbuilt into it. So Beehive makes it really easy because you can get started with an account for free for up to two and a half thousand subscribers and leverage some of these monetization tools so you can start building revenue from your newsletter straight away. I created a whole walkthrough video on how Beehive helps you to monetize your newsletter as well as grow your audience, so go and watch that one now. So as you can see, an ad network is quite easy to get started, but it's really hard to make a lot of money. So that's where sponsorships come in. Think of sponsorships like a partnership. So it's more about building a beneficial relationship for both parties, and it's gonna take a lot more effort than just leveraging an ad network. But you generally get a fixed rate, so it's not dependent on how many clicks. If you can target your pitches to brands that are wanting to get in front of your niche audience that you have already created, then you're gonna be able to charge more as well. So where exactly can you find sponsors to be a part of your newsletter? Well, anywhere really. But to make things simple, here are three ways you can get started. Number one is to leverage existing relationships. So whether you've worked with clients that may be interested in promoting their products or services, to your audience or leveraging other brand partnerships you've had before, whether that be on social media or on other platforms like YouTube or your podcast. Number two is sharing a call to action to say, basically, hey, I have sponsorship opportunities available in my newsletter. So you might wanna put this call to action on the bottom of your email newsletter as well as your website and maybe even have that call to action on your social media as well. This is a more passive approach, but works really well if your email list is growing at a great rate because you can continuously share how many more subscribers you have on that, you know, like weekly or monthly basis. And number three is pitching to brands. So 
I would start by looking at other newsletters within your niche and seeing what sponsors they have because obviously those brands that have paid for those sponsorship placements are interested in sponsoring newsletters. So start there. So when you're creating a sponsorship pitch, there's a few things you need to consider. Who your newsletter serves, so you wanna get clear on the niche and why they've signed up to your newsletter, how many subscribers you have, as well as the growth rate, for example, whether it's growing at 10 or 15% per month, as well as your average open rate and click-through rate. Examples of what a sponsorship placement might look like in your newsletter, so they can get that sort of visual element. Testimonials or feedback about your newsletter, case studies of other brands you've worked with before. This might be affiliate programs that have performed really well through your newsletter as well. And price per placement in your newsletter. This is the tricky bit. How do you price a placement in your newsletter? Well, the simple answer is it depends because it really depends on a few different things. It depends on the niche that you're a part of. You might be a part of a really lucrative niche like finance, then the brands that you're going after may be willing to pay a bit more for eyeballs on their brand. Whereas if it's something more generic like business, then you might not be able to charge as much. Also, if you have a really high open and click through rate, this could increase your price as well. So it may not be as dependent on how many subscribers you have, but more on that sort of open and click through volume. But generally, the rule of thumb is about $1,000 per 10,000 subscribers. But if you have a smaller list, does that mean you can't reach out to sponsors? Well, of course not. You can definitely reach out. You'll just be targeting them at a much lower price point, really dependent on how many subscribers you've got, those open and click-through rates. For example, if you have 1,000 people on your list, but you have an open rate of 50%, then you may be able to charge between $300 and $500 per placement. And when I'm talking about placement, I'm talking about every single newsletter that sponsor appears. So you can be charging this amount every single time you send a newsletter, whether that be weekly, fortnightly, or bi-weekly, depending on what your schedule looks like. You may even like to develop some packages depending on what other value you can provide these brands. So if there is opportunity for you to offer placement on your social media, in your YouTube videos, or on your podcast or blog, then you'll be able to create some sort of package that is so much more attractive to the brand. Or you may like to offer a discount if they decide to opt in to four newsletters rather than just one. I hope this video has been a great introduction to how you can get sponsorship for your email newsletter. But if you've got any other questions, please drop them below because I'd love to dive a bit deeper in another video. If you're looking for other ways to monetize your newsletter, then go and watch my video which shares my favorite affiliate programs that are the highest paying and they're perfect for every niche, which you can go and watch now. I hope you love this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. and. If you are new here, subscribe because I'd love to see you around here again. I'll be back here next time with another video I know you're gonna love. So until then, bye for now.